Digging a little deeper into this session, there's this really cool flute sample I've found. Let's have a listen. That's really cool, but I don't necessarily want to have a whole bunch of plugins on that track. I just want to do some tweaking. So I'm going to take advantage of one of the new features in Pro Tools 10 that enables me to open more than one audio suite plugin at a time. Having all of the plugins open in front of me at the same time is really going to make this job easier. First one is the channel strip, and I'm going to use this for the EQ. Now, for a compressor, let's go and bring in Impact, assuming as I have the ability to use it. It is a great compressor, so let's bring that one up next. Okay, now the other one that I want to bring in here for this processing is Chorus. So let's go and grab Chorus. Okay, so now let's tweak the EQ first. Now you have the ability here to mess around with the EQ with the mouse, or you can actually type values in below on each of the frequencies. And you also have a lot of control over the Q, so you can really fine tune your EQ on this one. Let's turn off the compressor, take it out of the chain. Okay, now let's go and mess with impact. Let's go two to one ratio. Bit of makeup gain. Okay, that's sounding a lot fatter. Okay, now let's use Deep Chorus. I really like that one. Okay, now let's do some rendering. EQ first. Then the compressor. And then the chorus. Now we're talking. And if we add it back into the session. Before electric light, you so there you have it. Good use of the new channel strip, impact, reverb one, and the ability to have multiple audio suite plugins open at the same time to really help your creative flow.